Hello everyone. Welcome to PM Networking. Hope you all are doing great. Guys, today in this video we are going to discuss default PVR. This is day 3 of PVR series. And in this video we are going to understand default PVR. Guys, default PVR is also very important topic but very easy anyone can understand. So please watch this video till the end if you want to learn the default PVR. See, first of all what is the difference in local PVR and default PVR. Guys, in local PVR, whenever a router receive any traffic, first router is going to check what policy and then router is going to check what routing table. If match will found in the policy, then router will not check routing table. It will forward traffic with PVR. If match will not found in the P in the policy, then router will check their routing table to forward traffic and router will forward router will perform normal forwarding right but if i will talk about the default pvr so see first of all let me make you familiar with this topology in this topology you can see this is isp1 and this is isp2 i have connectivity from two isp this is pm networking network and here is my edge router this one is my edge router here is internet on the internet i am running two loopback 8.8.8 .8 .8 and 5.5.5 .5. both loopback are reachable from this pc right here on edge router i will configure two default route one towards isp1 and one towards isp2 so that router one can perform load balancing now i am going to configure default pvr over here first of all understand the behavior of router in default pvr whenever router will receive traffic first of all router is going to check what routing table routing table if i will talk about normal pvr so router is going to check first policies but here router is going to check routing table except default route except 0, .0, .0, .0. done if match will found in the routing table if yes match will found router will forward normal forwarding okay if match will not found in the routing table if there is default route available like for 8.8.8 .8 .8 and 5.5.5 .5 in the routing table of router 1 there is only default route these network are not specified in the routing table of router 1 so if match will not found then router is going to check policy and if match will found then it will forward traffic through pvr if match will not found then router is going to forward it towards default route if default route is also not available then router will drop it this is the behavior of router in default pvr Like in my scenario, on router number 1, I will create, configure two default route. One towards SP1 and one towards ISP2. So, router, whenever router will receive any traffic from this PC, from this PC, <coughs> match will not found in the routing table. Match will found in the default route. So, router is going to check what policy. If in the policy match will found, then it will forward traffic through PVR. If match will not found in the policy, then it is going to use default route. Done. Now, how to configure? Configuration is very basic. <clears throat> Again, you will configure access control list to for the classification of traffic, or you can use length. Let's say I want to use <clears throat> length. The traffic which router will not found in the routing table and whose length is between 100 and 200 byte it should forward towards router number two and for all other traffic for else it should perform load balancing load balancing by default router is performing load balancing between isp1 and isp2 or my requirement can be that whenever this pc will take telnet access it will forward traffic of telnet and ssh it should forward it towards isp2 isp2 this is your isp2 not isp1 isp2 okay and for all other traffic it should 
परफॉर्म लोड बैलेंसिंग एल्स लोड बैलेंसिंग सो वी कैन अचीव दिस थ्रू डिफॉल्ट रॉट डिफॉल्ट पी वी आर अर्लियर इन नॉर्मल पी वी आर वी डिस्कस दैट हाउ रोटर इज गोइंग टू फॉर बार ट्रैफिक बाई चेकिंग पॉलिसी फर्स्ट रोटर वॉज चेकिंग पॉलिसी देन रोटर वॉज चेकिंग रोटिंग टेबल बट हियर फर्स्ट रोटर विल चेक रोटिंग टेबल एक्सेप्ट द डिफॉल्ट रोट देन रोटर इज गोइंग टू चेक द पॉलिसी ओके सो कन्फिगरेशन इज लेट से आई वॉन्ट टू कन्फिगर पॉलिसी फॉर द टेल नेट एंड एस एस एच ट्रैफिक द टेल नेट एंड एस एस एच फॉर टेल नेट एंड एस एस एच ट्रैफिक रोटर वन शुड फॉरवर्ड इट टूवर्ड्स आर रोटर टू एंड फॉर ऑल अदर ट्रैफिक इट शुड परफॉर्म लोड बैलेंसिंग राइट बाई डिफॉल्ट इट इज परफॉर्मिंग लोड बैलेंसिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वेरीफाई यू कैन वेरीफाई इट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी चेक हियर आई हैव कन्फिगर डिफॉल्ट रॉट और नॉट enable so ip route so default route is not present by default so let me configure the default route ip route 0.0.0 0.0.0 and next hop ip address is 1.1.2 between my edge router and isp1 i am using network 1.1.1 between my edge router and isp2 i am running network 2.2.2.0/30 done i am running .1 on edge router and dot 2 on isp side done need let me configure one more default route and next up will be 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2. done now can i ping 8.8.8 yes from here i am able to ping 8.8.8 can i ping 5.5.5.5 I am not able to ping 5.5.5, so I need to troubleshoot it. Wait. So IP route. Okay. it's fine over here then what is the problem let me check guys just see i am able to ping 8.8.8 .8 but i am not able to ping 5.5.5 .5. i think there is some problem uh, on internet side on isp side i am not going to troubleshoot it just i am going to configure the pvr just actually i was showing you the router is actually performing the load balancing so ip route here you can see there are two default route one is 2.2.2 exit interface next hop ip address and one another one is 1.1.1.2 so let me ping from pc from vpc let me check the reachability here first of all i need to configure the ip address so ip 192.168.10.10 Slash twenty four and one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot ten dot one hundred is default gateway. Let me ping eight dot eight dot eight from here. Yes, I am able to ping eight dot eight dot eight, and let me try to ping five dot five dot five also from here. Maybe because of software issue from router, I am not able to ping. Yes, you can see I am able to ping both IP address five dot. So this is problem of even G from router number one. You are not able to ping eight dot five dot five dot five, but you are able to ping eight dot eight dot eight. Now if I will trace root, trace eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. So my traffic is going via router number one. If I will trace root five dot five dot five, let's say. So my traffic is. Still going via router number one, but definitely router one will forward some traffic to router two also. Let me trace route again. Eight dot eight dot eight. All traffic is going via router number one only. So why? So IP route. 
1.1.1 is fine and 2.2.2 is also fine let me ping the neighbor 2.2.2.2 yes i am able to ping 2.2.2 as well so trace root 5.5.5.5 So it, this, this traffic is going via router number 1, numeric. Okay, and trace root 8.8.8. .8 .8. It is forwarding 8.8.8 .8 .8 also to router number 1 only. So you know this is actually problem of even G software. Otherwise it should forward some traffic to ISP1 and to some traffic to ISP number 2. Now see to configure the default policy only few command is different guys. Otherwise access list configuration will be same. Access list ex extended. After that name of access list is let's say let's say http i want that for http traffic it should you it should forward all http traffic from router number two from isp number two and all rest traffic should be load balanced means router one should perform load balancing for all other traffic but for http traffic it should forward traffic through isp2 so say hit, hit enter after that permit tcp and uh, source is 192.168.10.0 then wildcard mask 0 0.0.255 let's say destination is any and equal to as you know 80 as well as 443 443 so i have configured access control list where i have match that the source for HTTP traffic and HTTPS traffic. Now for these two traffic I want router 1 should use lower path via router number 2. So see here what I am going to do. Now I am going to configure the route map. Route map after that name of route map is let's say your policy. Your policy permit sequence number is 10 done now match ip address from access list whose name is http done after that set ip default next hop here this is the keyword new keyword in default pvr you will configure like this default ip set default next hop or if you want to set the interface so you will say set interface default interface not interface right we have two options we can either we can configure the policy with exit interface or with we can match the exit interface or we can match the next hop ip address like in a static routing also we can configure a static routing by using the exit interface also and by using next hop ip ad address also but we are using a static routing by using next hop ip address so that's why here also i am not using the i am not matching the interface exit interface i am, I am matching the next hop ip address so otherwise if you want to set interface so you can use this command interface for after that interface type and then interface id like this but here i i want to set the next hop ip address so ip next default next hop this is the only difference in default pvr after that next hop is let's say 2.2.2.2 .2 .2 .2. done now we need to apply this policy on f 2 slash 0 which is my LAN interface here IP policy after that name of my policy is name of my policy is your policy 
your policy and hit enter sorry dot map dot map done guys now if you want to verify so policy so dot map also you can verify zero match zero packet next up is 2.2.2 and so ip policy so i have applied policy on f0/2 and policy name is you can see your policy done now what i am going to do from vpc from vpc i am going to generate some http traffic before that let me debug ip policy over here debug ip policy and let me take you on vpc and here i am going to ping a dot a dot a dot eight and here if you will put question mark you can see if you want to send the tcp traffic so you should use iphone 3 for tcp mode so let me use iphone 3 over here then again if you will put question mark so if you want to define the port number you will use iphone p so let me use iphone p as well and after that port number so port number is let's say 80 done and now here you can see the policy match see source is 192.168.10.10 destination is 8.8.8.8 .8 and policy fib policy match so that's why next top ip address is gateway is 2.2.2.2 so for for this traffic actually router is forwarding traffic to 2.2.2 but if you will send the normal ping if you will send the normal ping router will forward that to isp1 only right and here you now you can check the route map also to find the match so route map you can see five packet match done now what i am going to do from vpc1 i am going to send some ping packet to let's say 5.5.5.5 done so it's showing policy match but you know this is problem of software in real time or on real devices you will not see this type of problem what we'll do what i will do i will configure this policy on real devices as well on guys but for uh, in this video we had discussed the basic configuration of default pvr we had discussed what is the difference between local pvr and default pvr default pvr is also useful feature we are using nowadays done guys so if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button guys if you have not subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel as well we will meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye